Welcome to Moomoo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's learn how to use prime factorization in order to find the greatest common factor of two or more numbers. The greatest common factor of two numbers is the largest number that divides evenly into both of these numbers. So let's get started. Let's find the greatest common factor of six and eight. To begin with, let's start with some factor trees. With six, let's begin with two times three. I will circle the 2 and the 3 because they both are prime. For 8, I will begin with 2 times 4. I will circle the 2 because it is prime. And then I will multiply 2 times 2 because, and I will circle both of the 2's because they are prime. So now we have all the prime numbers. The next thing we need to do is create a prime factorization chart. So I will write the prime numbers for 6 which is 2 and 3, and then the prime numbers for 8. I will skip a space where the 3 is because I do not have a 3, so I will write 2, skip a space, 2 and 2. I next will use this rule. Use only one factor from a column if you have a vertical pair. So let's put this into practice. Column 1, we have a vertical pair of 2's. So I will bring the 2 down. Next, for 3, I do not have a vertical pair. The other 2, no vertical pair. Or the next 2, no vertical pair. So my greatest common factor of 6 and 8 is 2. I'll continue to work some examples, so hopefully you'll get a hang of using prime factorization in order to find the greatest common factor. And find the GCF of 16 and 24 using prime factorization. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a factor tree. 2 times 8 equals 16. Circle the 2. 2 times 4 equals 8. Circle the 2. And then 2 times 2 equals 4. So I'm down to prime numbers. So there's all the prime numbers of 16. Now for 24, 2 goes into 12. 24, 12 times. And then 2 times 6 is 12. Again, circle the 2 and then 2 times 3. Circle both of these because they're prime. So now I'll create a prime factorization chart. Okay, so we have 16 and 24. So I'm going to write 2. I'll put a check. 2, 2, and 2. Now I'll do the same for 24. So I've got a 2 here. I've got a 2. A 2. Now I have a 3. I'm going to skip a space and write 2. Remember the rule. If you have pairs in the vertical column, since you're using two numbers, then you use that. I have a pair here, so I will be 2. And another pair. And another pair. So I multiply these together. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 equals 8. So the GCF of 16 and 24 is 8. Let's work another one. Okay, in order to speed up the process on this next one, I went ahead and completed the factor tree. So the prime number is 15, 3, and 5, and then for 28, 2, 2, and 7. So now I'm going to create my prime factorization chart. Okay, and so we have 3 and 5. Now we have 2, since there I do not have a 2 or a 5, excuse me, there's not a 2 or a 2 here, so I'm going to skip over to here. And the same with the next 2, and then the 7. Okay. Now, in this instance, I do not have a pair of a vertical pair. So, I cannot bring anything down. So, in this case, the GCF of 15 and 28 will be 1. Okay, because there's not a vertical pair. Next, let's work a couple with three numbers. Okay, let's go ahead and find the GCF for three numbers. Again, I've gone ahead and completed the factor trees for each of these, so I'm going to complete a factor prime factorization chart. So I have 12, 36, 48. So for 12, I've got 2, 2, and 3. Now for 36, I'm going to put a check by each one. I have a 2 
because this is really um, easy to make a mistake. I have a three here, and then I have one more three, and I've written all of these. Now for 48, I'm going to do the same. I've got to check for the two, check for the two, check for the two. But remember, notice that there is not a two, so I'm going to skip a space. Uh, check for the two, I'm going to skip a space. And then we have a three, and I can write this here. Now the rule changes slightly when you have three numbers because you have to have three numbers in the column. And if it does not have three, you cannot use it. So we have a 2, and let me draw a line here. We have a 2, and we have a 3. Now, I will not pull down this 3 because there's not uh, three numbers in the column, or this 2, or this 2. So now I just multiply 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 3 equals 12. So the GCF, so we multiply these together, of 12, 36, 48 is 12. Let's work one final one. Okay, we have three numbers again, 30, 12, 8. Here's the factor tree. Create my prime factorization chart. We have 30, that's a little messy, 30, 12, 8. So for 30, I'll write 2, 3, 5. For the 12, I'm going to put a check. We have a 2. I have to skip a space because there's not a 2 here uh, or a 2 here, so I'm going to move the 2 out to there. And then we have a 3, so I've used all of those. Now we have a 2, okay? I can put a check. I have a 2 here, and then there's no other 2, so I'm going to put this there. Okay, so now I have three numbers in the vertical column, so I'll write a 2. I have two threes, but not three, so I can't use the three. I can't use the five, these twos, or this two. So the GCF of 30, 12, and 8 is 2. I hope that helps with finding the GCF using prime factorization.